We've seen that anything that makes a circle requires an inward force. And if there's an inward net unbalanced force, there's also then an inward acceleration. And in this segment, I'd like to show you what these equations are that describe the centripetal force and the centripetal acceleration. Now these equations can be derived by mathematics and also confirmed by experiment. But let's begin by looking at what these equations are. The formula for the centripetal force is m v squared over r. And this is a net inward unbalanced force. And we know that f net equals m a. And so we have m, and look, the a of this equation is the v squared over r. Therefore, the centripetal acceleration is v squared over r. So let's look at these two equations. mv squared over r is the centripetal force, and v squared over r is the centripetal center seeking. That means acceleration. Now what do these variables mean? Let's take a look. m is the mass that is moving in the circle in kilograms. v squared is its velocity as it goes around the circle. And r is the radius of the circle. Notice radius of the circle in meters. Thus we have our two equations. Let's look a little bit closer at this acceleration. Here's an object moving around a circle. At that moment, it wants to move off along the tangent. After an interval of time, it is at a different position. Here it is at the first position, now the second. The magnitude is the same, or shall I say the speed is the same, but the direction has changed. Therefore, I can say here's vi. At a moment in time later, there's vf. And again, the direction has changed. Therefore, there will be a change in velocity. Now, you should be able to know what delta v is. Delta v is always a final minus an initial. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Let me bring the final velocity down. To take minus the initial, I have to reverse the direction of that. And so delta v is inward as shown. I have a change in velocity. And this happens over an interval of time. Therefore, it's delta v divided by delta t. And that is an acceleration a centripetal acceleration, an inward acceleration. And this is the unusual case where the speed is constant, but we have an acceleration at the same time.